Today for the Bitcoin price, Bitcoin is right now breaking down out of the symmetrical triangle right now. And the question everyone is asking is, is this the beginning of the significant retracement all the bears out there were waiting for? Or is this just a filling here of a CME gap and also a potential bounce of our resistance and Bitcoin is going higher? Well, there are two scenarios and I want to tell you exactly what we have to keep an eye on, whether to say we are for sure going higher or whether we have to say well we are going lower i will show you all of that and i want to urge you watch this video until the very end because the information i have to provide today are extremely important for today and tomorrow's price action for bitcoin i will also talk about this crazy news here in the tesla gigafactory of elon musk is there actually a bitcoin liberty x atm in the factory here of elon musk i want to talk about the reasons for it the reasons against it and what we can expect for the bitcoin price right now in the immediate short term make sure you watch this video all the way through until the very end you take a seat you sit down you scroll down you smash up the like button you press subscribe press the bell and press on all and with that being said welcome to the friends and welcome back to mm crypto my name is chris and as always we are really pumped to go straight into the content well and we are here on the one hourly candles for the bitcoin price and when i saw the price breaking down i actually had no time to record a video but i thought i have to record this video for you right now so let's do this right now we are here on the hourly candles and I had this before as a bull flag, but I changed my bias to a symmetrical triangle because we can see here with, um, with this breakout out of the bull flag that probably it is more a symmetrical triangle solidifying here. And right now, just like a few minutes ago, um, before I press the record button, Bitcoin is breaking down here. And I want to talk about whether we should flip bearish right now, whether, whether we should expect significant lower prices for Bitcoin or whether this is just a short pit stop to take some profits uh, from the from the bulls and then revert towards the upside for good. Well, I wanna talk about this. So what we can see here is these two lines I actually drew in for you. And the first one would, would have been here in a bullish scenario. I'm just showing it to you. It is not in place anymore. In a bullish scenario, if we would have gotten a bounce here, this would have been a potential amazing W breakout you remember my call here before we all traded this w breakout towards the upside and this is the thing this is why we are waiting for the breakouts because we want to be in a profitable trade regardless so this here was specifically our bull uh, bearish invalidation point for the bullish breakout and there's also a bearish invalidation point and obviously this is the previous low for bitcoin as you can see this is the 11,280 us dollar level unfortunately bitcoin didn't only break below this level bitcoin also broke below this level and if i were to pull out the volume canvas you can also see unfortunately a high volume coming in this high volume breaking all the previous volume candles within this pattern so this pattern is broken for sure towards the downside this pattern is bearishly broken there is no way around it and um, no matter how bullish you are you have to admit this pattern is broken and what i will be doing is i will be taking some profits over here from my bible trade because i want to be there when i'm wrong i want to take some profits and i want to make sure that i am going profitably out of this trade this is exactly what makes an experienced trader guys and um, in case we are wrong in case the bitcoin price goes against the statistical probability we want to be a man and we want to say i was wrong and i am taking profits out of my amazing trade here and this is exactly what i'm doing right now i will do it here i will show you all my trades uh on bybit and i want to show you why this level actually 11,170 actually makes a lot of sense i want to go to the cme chart right now and guys here i want you to pay close attention first of all make a mental screenshot of this orange support box here which was built throughout august september and so on and you can see bitcoin found perfect perfect support here and if you are following our charts if you're following our channel well if we are breaking down this price target shouldn't be any surprise for you even though the breakdown itself is a surprise so let's go over to the cme chart and you just have to type in C, uh, BTC1 and then you go to BTC1 exclamation mark. And what you can see here, this is the hourly candles. Let me go over to the daily candles for Bitcoin right now. Um, you can see that we were right now close to be filling the gap. We were so close to fill the gap. And let me show you here, by the way, the gap was formed by today. And you know, I am 
everything but a gap believer but this is what i want to show you with this dump we just had a flash cra crash so to speak you see the gap would have been closed at 11,200 on the cme chart the price didn't go so low it is tracking the prices from um bitmay uh, from from uh, Bitfinex and I don't know, like from, from Bitstamp and so on, Kraken and um, yeah, a few other spot exchanges. So far, the price didn't go down here, but we had on multiple occasions in the past that a CME gap was closed on um, the spot exchanges, on some spot exchanges, but not on the CME. And this seems to be the case right here. Uh, let's see what actually happens. But I want to tell you this gap would have been closed actually um, if this one would be mirroring the perfect price action we are seeing for example on Bitstamp. Remember 11,200 going back to Bitstamp and now going over to the hourly candles you can see that this dump actually went below the 11,200 level so technically the gap is filled. Technically, the gap here is filled. So for every gap believer, this is amazing news. The bad news is we went below this invalidation point, And this is the exact reason what I, why I want to be taking some profits here. So in case we are getting this CME, or you could just take my, um, if you disregard the CME gap, you can just take my, uh, my support level here. If we are actually um, getting a bounce here, according to our TA, well, this is fine. We are still in the trade. And in case Bitcoin goes lower, well, we at least took some profits and uh, we are having profits here. This is why I want to show you here my trade on Bybit. I will be taking profits after the recording. You can see it here, 13,000 US dollars in profit right now on Bybit, 77, 80%, amazing gains. Um, shout out to everyone, congratulations for everyone who took my trade signal over here and who is in amazing gains right now. We are taking profits, we are staying level-headed and where I'm not taking any profits is my trade here on Femex, as you know. And this one is right now 42,000 US dollars in a profit i opened it at 9400 us dollars this trade remains open and obviously guys you know i have 390 us dollar free bonus for you in the pinned comment in the description down below if you click this link you get redirected here you put in your email address your password and you get your free bonus um, after clicking our link in the pinned comment down below let me know what you think about it are you bearish are you bullish well i want to wait here i want to see if bitcoin is able to get a bounce here if bitcoin is able to hold this support box this support level i was mentioning throughout the last few days and weeks and if not well we at least took some profits along the lines as well decision if you agree if you appreciate the free content smash up the like button right now press the subscription button press the bell and press on all that would be heavily appreciated and there's another thing i wanted to mention as well if you are subscribed to the mm crypto channel you know that we are very much into DeFi as well we are following this space and um, obviously there are amazing gains to be made and I want to ask a question. Who of you is a little bit annoyed that um, you cannot make any limit orders, for example, on Uniswap, that you only can make market orders, there is not an order book, and you cannot say, well, I want to buy 20% cheaper. Who of you is annoyed about that? I was annoyed about that, that for a very long time. And you know, we at MM Crypto, we are not accepting like any sponsor. And I'm doing that, I don't know, a few times per year or so with a lot of due diligence and so on. Well, I accepted just a new one. This one is Unilayer because they are actually building a second layer solution on top of Uniswap. And what you can do is it's unilayerdemo.com. You can check it out yourself. You need the Chrome browser, you need the MetaMask, you click off connect wallet and you connect your MetaMask. And what they are doing is on top of um, Uniswap, they're actually also here an aggregator, on top of Uniswap, you can actually make limit, but not only limit orders, they are an aggregator. They have a staking coming up soon. They have landing coming up soon. They have a launch pad coming on soon. It's an um, NFT marketplace. So it's a lot of things as a second layer on top of Uniswap, something I was personally like hands down waiting for a very long time. Because for example, now my wallet is connected. I put in um, 1.3 ethereum which is approximately 500 us dollars and um, yeah when i'm going here for example i'm going on trending pairs i'm sorting by volume you could take any different volume pair when you are taking rent for example it's the highest volume here on uniswap right now then um, you are putting in a limit order this is the whole point about it and the price right now is 0 0.9775 well i want to pay 0 0.009 instead of that i want to have a eight percent discount in this case well 
and I want to buy 75% of the 1.3 Ethereum I have on this wallet. Then I press 75%, I press on this price. Well, and then, then, then I'm putting it in and I'm going into the order book here on top of Uniswap. And only if the price reaches this point, I am getting my discounted rent in this example. Um, actually something I waited for a long time because otherwise I have to sit in front of the computer for like five hours, 12 hours, and once we're hitting the price, well, then I have to press and swap the the, the, the contract here. And obviously there are fees created here um, on top of Uniswap and 92% of this fees coming from the trades you are putting in are redistributed back to the stakers of Unilayer token. And um, yeah, this is the way how they want to incentivize the people to holding it and to staking it since there is also staking coming up here on this platform. Obviously they are also taking a cut, but in this case it's like 0.2%, um, very much in alignment what we are actually used to in terms of um, percentage uh, fees on an exchange. And another very interesting thing, I mean, we have to wait uh, until it's coming out, it will be coming out very soon, is this launchpad. And this is what really caught my attention because if you have, for example, DeFi projects raising funds on top of Uniswap here on Unilayer, then 1% of the Ethereum raised here are also being redistributed to the token holders of Unilayer. And um, this is a nice incentive for them. And obviously it's a nice incentive also for projects when a lot of people are using this platform, then it's very convenient to just um, yeah, have, uh, have the projects here launching on this platform itself. Obviously this was just an overview um, transparency. They are sponsoring and supporting the channel, but as you know, I was um, following them and co um, covering them already way back ever weeks, month before I was ever talking to them, I was already following this project and even talking about it on this channel so it was just the most organic thing to accept them here also as a sponsor thank you so much for that and um, yeah i genuinely think this is an interesting thing to follow if you want more information about that i will leave their telegram link in the pin comment down below in the description down below click it and uh, check it out and you can uh, talk with like-minded people over there and obviously if you also want to trade on um, in on bybit and femex you know that in our community in our pin comment you get three $390 for free for like two minutes of your time in the pin comment in the description if you click this link our Bybit link you get redirected to the email and to the password you put it in you get your own account after your initial deposit you um, yeah get your bonus over there and um, can trade with a free bonus alone I am trading with free margin every now and then as well um, I showed you a lot of these trades also and it's always great well it's, if it goes against you it was free margin if you are making profits you can withdraw the free profits from this free trade only with the link in the pinned comment down below. And now guys, I want to talk here about the Bitcoin ATM probably in the Giga Factory. And if you are working at Tesla, if you have friends working there, if you know anything about it, leave your thoughts in the comment section. This is a very funny and nice topic because everyone knows that uh, Elon Musk, he is a troll. He is posting about Dogecoin, about Bitcoin every now and then. He just posted something again. And obviously it would be amazing to see that he has a Bitcoin ATM in his Giga Factory. So, but guys, big disclaimer, this could be just, um, this could be just a fake news, obviously. We don't have clear confirmations against or for it. But if you go on Google Maps and you type in Tesla Gigafactory, the number one, they have many of them. The first one, Gigafactory, is you're zooming in, you can see here is this Liberty X Bitcoin ATM. And guys, I mean, if someone is faking this, if Liberty X is faking this, shame on you. If someone else is faking it, shame on you. But if not, obviously, this is amazing news here right now for Bitcoin. So, um, you never know what's happening, but this guy, he actually was posting it just a few hours ago, just passed by and saw Elon Musk has a Bitcoin ATM at the Giga factory. And you can see here the same screenshot I actually showed you on um, Google Maps. You can check it out yourself. And um, yes, this one was completely going viral. This guy has like 5,000, 4,000 subscribers and uh, 3,500 likes. It's crazy on Twitter. This is nearly impossible. It was completely going viral here. And this is obviously very, very interesting to see. And um, we have to understand that Elon Musk, he's the CEO of Tesla. He's the CEO of SpaceX. So he obviously doesn't know what everything is going on there. He's just um, yeah pulling the triggers and making everything from a very high level, making the decisions and so on so if someone of his managers or whoever gives the approval to put in a bitcoin atm this doesn't necessarily mean that elon musk knows about it or that he approved it or whatever 
Um, I think this should be obvious. And um, there is a lot of already Coindesk talking about it. And many of these outlets out there, I think I'm the first one on YouTube uh, as far as I'm concerned. But there's some bad news because Elon Musk was just to a tweet. Unfortunately, this one is deleted. So I don't know um, what was said in here, but I know that this was about Bitcoin. And he, he said, I don't think this is accurate. So he's obviously not sure about it, um, but he is reacting to it, which is always great when he is reacting to some kind of Bitcoin stuff. We talked about it a few times and you see here a lot of people talking, saying below, obviously it's gotta be Dogecoin, what the H is with Bitcoin. It never gotta, gonna catch on. So obviously some people here be still being bearish, but yeah, he is saying, I don't think this is accurate so far. Google is saying something else. And so far, many people in the communities are saying something else. I really want to have some um, some thoughts here from you guys. And yeah, maybe you are working at Tesla or you know something about it. Let me know down below. I would think it would be an amazing step towards adoption. Um, Tesla is a very proactive company. Tesla is a very innovative content company. And I think um, Bitcoin ATMs, having them into their factories with all these amazing employees would be a very next step a very nice next step towards uh, mainstream adoption especially considering that tesla is likely to grow significantly throughout the next few i don't know 5 10 15 20 years so that would be amazing let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below and with that being said thank you so much for watching guys and we will see each other very soon at the next one of mm crypto and as always guys as always click the subscription box right here and also click the bible tutorial which is popping up right there and as always guys as always bye bye